Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a mommy vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, my work schedule, virtual learning, anything mommy related. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I wasn't gonna film this type of video, but I kind of feel like I am freaking out and I should just let you guys know how this week is probably going to be the worst week ever. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that my mom is being tested for COVID. Um, and she is now on like day eight or nine of her quarantine. But not only does my mom have to be tested, but so does Nick and Tara. And that is like freaking us out because we've been around them constantly. Nick and Tara have to be tested now. Um, and they pretty much were around Tara's sister and Tara's sister's boyfriend had it. Um, her sister tested positive for it and she lost her sense of smell and taste. Um, Nick and Tara have no symptoms so far, but they're being tested. Ow. But they're being tested, so now we're going to go get tested. We're not feeling any symptoms or anything. This is just, like, my morning voice. Um, so that's not, like, a symptom or anything. Um, but it's, like, 5.30 in the morning. I just woke up, and we had the bad news. Um, but, yeah, so now I'm, like, stressing out because I'm honestly not worried if me or Anthony get it like the survival rate is very high I know that but like I don't want my kids to suffer through through this like especially Ollie like he's not going to tell me what's wrong I just and he's suffered from like RSV for the last two years during the winter and it's rough on him I just don't want him to have to deal with all the COVID stuff as well so I'm trying like my best to like keep my distance away from it everybody we just go around the same people, that's it. We don't go around anywhere else. I don't go anywhere other than to like work on Wednesdays and go into the supermarket when I need to. And most of the time, my stuff is just pickup orders. So I don't have to worry about actually like going around the stores, picking stuff up. Um, yesterday, I spent the whole day like sanitizing the crap out of my house. Um, I might honestly continue doing that today because I didn't really get to the living room or anything because Ollie was in here. Um, I just need to do that today, get my mind off of it. So that's pretty much what this video is going to be looking like. Um, hopefully <laughs> we get some good news. I actually have to like schedule our appointments because like my mom told me to go to one of the hospitals. But I think Nick and Tara are doing rapid testing. Um, but I'm like stressing out hardcore. Like you guys don't even know. Um, it's all like starting to get way too close to home. And I'm freaking out. Also like my mom has like underlining like health issues. Like she has very bad stomach issues. And she lives with my grandmother. So I'm like kind of nervous that they are going to like all get it and suffer from it. And then I don't know. I'm just like freaking out. So um yeah i will update you guys later in the week about everything probably in my next video you'll probably hear like all the covid testing results um but today mostly be like me cleaning and getting my shit together i'm not gonna put on makeup or get dressed at all i'm in sweatpants and anthony's t-shirt i'm not doing anything else today but cleaning and just like wiping everything down and just getting it together because now I'm just like freaking out. Um, but yeah, I just really need to like get that going. Um, other than that, I don't, I was going to like start doing some like, well, I can't even do that. This whole week, I was hoping that I would already have like all my stuff from Home Depot. I think I mentioned in like my last video. That I had to go to Home Depot, but I never went. Um, and now I can't get started on, like, my gifts for my parents. Or the stuff for Anthony's parents or Nick and Tara. Because Lily will be using my computer all week. But not only that, but, like, if we test positive or if anybody tests positive, 
it like around me like Christmas is completely like off canceled like we're not gonna be having anybody over um so yeah we're like originally it was only going to be Nick and Tara in the morning when the kids open their gifts my parents were coming at like eight or nine for breakfast then they were going over to my sister's house to see Jaden and then they were coming back for dinner and then Anthony's mom would come randomly through the day and just leave so it wasn't like a bunch of people and again it's only the same people we have been around the same people this whole quarantine and that is it like I'm not trying to extend to other people it's just like the main people um so yeah that was the plan but if anybody tests positive like my mom that whole house is not allowed to come here if Nick and Tara or we test positive I don't want them to come here like any of that like I don't want to have to like accidentally spread it to anybody I don't care if they think like oh I'm immune I don't care what anybody else thinks for my own like sanity I refuse to be near anybody if I have it <laughs> If Anthony doesn't have it, his ass is going to stay downstairs and I'm going to stay in the bedroom, quarantined away from everybody. That's just how we're going to do it. Like, I'm not trying to be freaked out that I gave it to somebody else. So, that's the plan. If we all ended up being negative, then I think we'll be okay to see each other for Christmas. I'm just, like, really trying to, like, limit who I'm being around right now, especially during the winter. Like flu season, plus COVID season, plus RSV season. It's just a hot mess during the winter and I hate it. So I'm trying to like just extremely limit who we see. I mean, unfortunately, like we're going to have to see Anthony's mom because she babysits throughout the week when I'm like at work. And I mean, that's the only one that we'd have to continue to like bring over. Um, if... Like, I decided to, like, completely cut people out so we don't see anybody to limit seeing people. But, I don't know, I'm, like, really stressing. Um, and there's, like, there's just so much unknown about this, which is making me even more paranoid. Like, you just don't know what's going to happen after you have it. Like, you might survive it, but, like, you could... People are saying that they still don't have their sense of smell or taste six months later and that like stresses me out and then people are getting it like two or three times in a row and it's just like oh my god like <laughs> I just it's really stressing me out this whole COVID shit so yeah that's my little rant of the morning <laughs> um I just need to take a breather before Ollie wakes up I know he's gonna be getting up in the next half an hour um and oh yeah um lily lost a tooth yesterday and i'm like i tried to get in there this morning as soon as i woke up to like put the money under her tooth her pillow and take her tooth but she instantly woke up as soon as i opened the door so i don't i went in there to grab the ipad because that's the only thing i could think of grabbing but oh my god like i might have to tell lily some something like tell her that covid <laughs> she couldn't come in the bedroom because of covid <laughs> and like she gave me the money or something i don't know i don't even know what to tell her but i'm gonna have to think of something because i don't want to ruin that and then it eventually leading to like oh santa's not real like i don't i don't want that gone yet she's almost 11 and i want to like savor all the kitty things and the innocence of being a child and then, like, every, like, one of my cousins, all of their kids pretty much don't believe yet anymore. And I think the youngest one is, like, eight. And I feel bad. Like, I don't want her to think that's not true. So I'm trying to, like, come up with something. We'll see. Because I know she's going to be freaking out that her tooth is still there. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, so it's much later now. It's like five o'clock. It's like the whole day is gone. Um, Ollie's upstairs with Anthony taking a bath because he got all sticky from dinner. Um, Anthony just got home. To be honest, I think it's later than five o'clock. Anthony just got home. And it's almost six. Um, just hopped in the shower because it was all wet. 
Um, but I've been stressing and cleaning all day. I haven't really done anything but that. And to be honest, I just wanted to get it over with. So I didn't really film. Um, but I had to run out and like get more products because I was running low on Clorox and disinfectant wipes and all that. So I'm going to continue to deep clean my house. But guys, I've been stressing so bad like i really just don't want my kids to get it um you just don't know what the effects are going to be like afterwards or how it's going to affect them um i don't know i'm just stressing so bad and then like we really can't afford for anthony to be out of work right now with christmas coming up i'm stressing really bad so if somebody has it and then he catches it and he's out of work both of our jobs only give us two weeks for um quarantine and that's it and then we have to start using our own time and that just like stresses me out because like I'm saving my time for like my maternity leave because again my job doesn't offer it other than me using my time so like I don't know it's kind of just <laughs> everything is just starting to accumulate and stress me out I'm overthinking everything and I'm just not in a good place right now um, but I still wanted to put up a video and like tell you guys what's going on like I understand it's probably gonna be just me talking um and i i don't know um and then now i just found out like my cousin who was also in contact with like the person my mom got in contact with she's now getting tested as well and i just it's just all over the place now and yeah again it's stressing me out i'm overwhelmed i'm kind of scared that my kids are gonna get it and I don't want to be scared and I'm seeing people's stories and people are just like yeah symptoms are like prolonged for months and I'm still getting symptoms even though I'm testing negative like it's just crazy and like it's flu season and RSV season and it's just like it scares me because I don't want my kids to get sick uh, but yeah I'm trying to do as much as possible and like just deep clean my house like i'm saying deep clean every spot in my house is being hit with clorox <laughs> um but yeah i just put a load of laundry on and i'm just waiting for anthony to come down so i can start cleaning upstairs i'm working on ollie's bedroom because it's really hard to clean when you have a toddler running around so um i also have to like deep clean anyways if anybody's coming for christmas i'm gonna clean I really need to clean my couches, so if you guys would like to see that in an upcoming video, please let me know. I think I might do like a nighttime tidy up and like include that with it because I just really need to do like a lot of stuff before my family comes over. Like I know I'm deep cleaning right now, but like I'd like to have my house like pretty much not lived in when people come over. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, but I just need to wait for like the test to come back to see what everybody's what I'm doing um let me know what you guys are doing for christmas um especially with the quarantine happening again like it's not going to be that many people we have a uh quarantined mandate going on right now in philadelphia we're not allowed to have more than 10 people in the house at a time and there won't be like at all so that's pretty much we're keeping to that and again like I said we're only keeping to like the same people that have been around this entire time so I'm not like going to random parties and hanging out with people that I never met so yeah that's what we're trying to stick to um just stay safe um and I guess I'm gonna try and go back to like my Christmas cheer and just stay positive until we get the results back from everybody and not freak out as much as possible so um, I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below I answer every single comment I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new video and hopefully it's some good news uh, bye guys